we might get back as a team together. It's not uh, certain okay. because uh, the national team is taking uh, ah, some yeah. time off. We need to have some talks, uh, figure out what what the coaches want. Like the the whole after the Olympics, the new cycle starts, so yeah, everything yeah, yeah. is new, everything, fresh. Yeah. They're all having meetings. They're yeah. all having meetings. Like we get to go to Costa Rica, Heck yeah, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, I'm really curious what the Dutch uh, teams are gonna look like. Actually. Is there um, a strong uh, youth program like yes. new up and comers yeah. coming yes. out? Yes, always. M- Mace uh, played here. He played yeah. really oh, well. Oh, that's right. Yeah, young player. Uh, yeah, we have Yannick, who is an uh, amazing young guy, mm-hmm. um, lefty, very tall, good blocker. Yeah, we have a lot so. of talent, man, and I think we have. We need to keep up. <laughs> well, you guys are deep too now. Yeah, like Netherlands yeah. Uh, used to be just like two teams usually. Yeah. Now it's yeah, four or five yeah, guys younger guys. Great work of, of, we have a, such a nice program. Like, yeah. Uh, our program is this, it's just we're all in the same place because Beachfall was not really big in the Netherlands. So yeah. And the mm-hmm. Netherlands is in general not really big. <laughs> so yeah. we all live in the Hague in yeah, the, the same, Hague. Uh, with the same uh, indoor complex. And just we, we see each other every day, we train with each other every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if someone's injured, there's a youth guy coming in. Yeah. Uh, you, you have like this cross, how do you say it in English? Uh, you help each other up and yeah, collaboration, yeah. Yeah. collaboration. Uh, support. I mean, yeah. for you guys, do you think, you know, what is it about the Dutch Federation that makes the Federation unique? Why do you think it promotes a healthy environment? I mean, do you think it's because it's always been that way in the history or is it because of the new personnel in the players that are here now? Ooh, difficult question. Yeah, I think we're one of the only federations who train every day with each other. We're pretty good friends. Yeah. Of, of course, there's always a bit of tension, but yeah. still, like we we push each other every day. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, I don't feel like our national team is perfect, but especially when I look to other uh, federations, like there are teams that don't talk with each other, yeah. don't yeah. eat together, or it's almost every single <clears throat> federation. Though, yeah. like I, when I look at it, I'm like, yeah, the Dutch are the closest. That, that's yeah, I, I, look I, hold at the, I hold you guys like up here. The Polish yeah. guys, you know, like yeah. they're like, okay, we're switching partners off the court. Yeah. We we'll eat dinner with other guys, you know. <laughs> Americans, like we're like so toxic uh, between the team. Yeah. Okay, can you explain to me why don't you guys train all together and make and, each other better and make each other better? Well, we and do be friends. So <laughs> yeah, well, so the way our federation is, it's just straight points. You're just competing against each other in points. If you get more points than other guys. Then they move up in the money and the health insurance and stuff. So we're constantly fighting each other for those spots. And then um, we do train against each other, but we call each other up. There's okay. there's training group once a week, sometimes in the off season. Um, but for the most part, it's uh, the national teams there for uh, athletic trainer support. They have a weight beautiful lifting. weight room, okay. weight coach, sauna, ice baths. They have meeting rooms, but you bring your coach in okay. to do do the meetings for the most part. They have nutritionists. That, uh-huh. So they just give us all the resources. And then we pick our partners. We submit it to the, tell them who we're playing with. Um, but we're always fighting against each other for everything. Yeah. But we're also like we're fighting for two Olympic spots. Yeah, but we have like a I, coach I, I, ahead of us. I agree that's different, uh-huh. but we're fighting for two Olympic spots. And at the end, we help each other and the two best teams go yeah and that's fair and yeah that's how it like there's no malice or anything so right it's why not fix it all together and say guys you we, that? we, 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 we that american players we, we, why can't we we help each other and <laughs> why yeah. can't we support each other if you deserve it and you beat me yeah. then go you right, right. for sure yeah right. yeah it's just very separated for us uh i think back in the day when it was like carrie and misty and them um and and a lot of the older uh, american players they were more veterans. They knew the sport better than anyone mm-hmm. uh, on the administrative side of things. So they're like, don't get involved. We know what's best for us. We know what teams just like give us support. We got this. And that's how it seemed to be. And they're like, we do not want to give the Federation any um, power okay. to, to manipulate our teams and blah, blah, blah. You know, that's what the top players wanted. So when USA created the system, that's okay, fine. That's what we're going to do. You guys keep getting medals. We'll keep support. We'll support. Right. And they built this system to support the athletes. Mm-hmm. It's shifted a little bit, but it's still old school, and and they really haven't um, made an effort to adapt it sure. necessarily. They do a little bit at the youth level, like they yeah. try to find young athletes and then invite them into the gym. They have a developmental program now, or they've always kind of had it, 
But at the top level, the, the athletes didn't really work. Imagine if they all started to train again like, together. It would be very scary. You we're, think, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> you think? I don't know. It's I, like, I agree. I agree with Try. We do and practice we, against each other because we, 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 we're not going to call the low, super low level teams of to not. train. You know, yeah. it's we probably only go within the top eight teams right. that we call A. Okay. This week, let's practice Wednesday. The league teams. But it's very against. Yeah. It's, it's not one like time training week. together like. Not learning from Your each coaches. other. No, you're not learning we'll from We'll drill. Each other. We'll drill a little bit. Okay. You, you work on what you work on, but we're not like, hey, what do you think? Like, right. no collaboration, I no sharing. People want to hold. People want to hold their strategies and secrets close to their chest mm -hmm. and not show them, which I think that hurts our federation. It hurts our Imagine federation. Imagine how much information we have that we can That's share correct. with each other, yeah. especially think, with our veterans. I think like a couple of years ago, before Tokyo, Tala Hildebrand was one of the coaches at USA. And for two years, or maybe like a year, there was training groups, required training groups for the teams that were qualifying for the Olympics or okay. trying to qualify. Yeah. And you had three or four teams consistently, multiple times a week training as USA, mm -hmm. which I, I don't know if that really happened this last quad. I, I don't know if there was a ton of that uh, in general. There was a little bit. A little bit of it. Yeah, but I remember like once a week for a month. Or yeah, something. it was light. Right, but I remember the conversation because I was there. I just volunteered my time to learn. I wanted to be around the guys. I wanted to to hear what the coaches were saying. If someone was hurt, I got to practice a little bit, which was great. It was a good experience for me. Um, but there was something about Hildebrand talking about we are a team. You know, only two teams will get to go, but because of the support and the practice and how hard teams three and four are pushing teams one and two, they will be better in mm. the Olympics and which can generate more points, which can generate maybe a medal. Yeah. Um, so maybe you don't go to the Olympics, but you have a role in, in helping our USA program get medals at the Olympics. And you which, have a chance. And you have a chance. Mm -hmm. Of course you have a chance. So I think that was really cool. And it was the first time I think that everyone was hesitant to be like, okay, USA all together because, <laughs> because yeah, like, it was hard. Like we're all like, it was well, weird. I don't know about this. Yeah. <laughs> because no one, no, everyone was fighting for themselves. And I think not having, whereas you guys have, a few coaches that help multiple teams correct yeah. and it's umbrella yeah. yeah if we had that it would be a totally different game but because everyone is on their own with providing their own coaches there's there's benefits and perks of that but maybe the downside is having that like almost college-like atmosphere where you're grinding together yeah. you're building up your your counterparts you're helping them um, it's just we're not there yet, and maybe it's maybe it's our ego, maybe it's the system that's in place. There's probably a benefit to it as well, right? Yeah, where, sure. where you're just constantly like high, high competition. And you guys also practice. play against each other in the AVP, yes, a lot. Yeah, right. so that's the problem yeah. as well. We're just I mean, you guys are doing on the Dutch tour too. We're no? constantly and competing yes, against yeah. each other. Yeah, well, we don't play the Dutch tour. You don't okay, how tour. about on the world tour or even Olympics? Mm -hmm. Do you cheer for your? other guys to medal when you're not in the tournament when you're out of a tournament not really not really not really uh, i think a few years ago i actually really wanted them to lose but as i grow right. older it doesn't <laughs> i doesn't really maybe try not to <laughs> i i have no, thoughts like, of of this like yes. i want them to lose but i've also thought like okay i i generally like i know i should want them to win exactly no, so right? i <laughs> feed those thoughts more yes right there <laughs> you go there you go uh, like, it, it doesn't really it doesn't impact the game if you, if you hope that they're losing and actually it's you're not really a great person if you're going no. to cheer against your Dutch fellow teammates. So I'm it can a, be neutral, right? I, no, yeah. I'm in a moment in which I actually want, especially in the Olympics, on the world champs, like yeah. we go to the Netherlands, and yeah, yeah, I think it's the best way to be and to. I don't think any Americans cheer for each other ever. That's that's the difference. But cheering and like hoping they will lose is a big well, difference, right? No, hoping. <laughs> I think every American team hopes the other ones lose, yeah. which I don't think is healthy. But I also think almost every federation is like, I think that's how our sport is. Your number one focus, beat your fellow countrymen. Yeah. And then number two, yeah. uh, try to do as good as you can on the world tour. It's hard because... Um, for most countries, I think that's just the reality of it. Yeah. The way that they've built the system, it's not countries versus countries. There's no. The, no one at the end of the year accumulates say, hey, USA... Got the most the medals. Year, yeah, they get a prize no. like uh, anything. Right. They don't even acknowledge it. Nobody counts it. No. Uh, the only thing that that dictates um, us getting more or less money is us beating our fellow countrymen. Yeah, for us. Right. Yeah. That so every loses, day, I win more money. Yeah. So I would like them to lose. And it could be your <laughs> just rational, your, like it, it, which it, is it, rational. Is your health insurance like right, legitimate? Us. Feed your family money. with the money. Yeah, yeah. Some people have families. This mm -hmm. is your health right. insurance for your kid. For your wife, then we get into the money problem of beach volleyball, which is yeah, yeah, not. Uh, How do you guys get a stable income in America? Like, 
you got to put together uh, multiple yeah. pieces. We're okay. we're a lot luckier because of AVP. Yeah, and good AVP, branding. Uh, we can leverage a lot of sponsorships okay. through that. Uh, brands here don't care that much about the world tour. They don't see it as obviously right? like yeah. nobody's yeah. watching it in no. America. Not really. Um, but the AVP were on TV a lot, or at least on <laughs> lately some random what channels, some random yeah. channel. There's yeah. a handful of different channels. We're on YouTube, Valleys, whatever it is. CW. Yeah, but we get a lot more exposure through AVP. Yeah. So that's sponsorships are better there. You have that bucket, and then you have the prize money bucket, which late AVP is. Uh, if we play f- the same amount of events, AVP and World Tour, we're gonna make double on the AVP. The elite wow. AVP prize money is. Of a major, it's like an elite. It's an elite, yeah. That's insane. Yeah. And AVP is an elite prize money, but without all the teams in the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty good teams, so good. No, it's we good have teams. we're we're deep for but sure. No like, Mosorum, no Amon no, Helvik. No, come on, yeah. yeah the exactly. the level to go there and is with the league. Is the prize money going up or 